Okay, so looking at the roles of A and K, we looked at that whole investigation. Now we're quickly going to just summarize it again. So identify the A and K value from Y equals 2X squared minus 5. So the A value is 2. It would be positive 2, but the positive and negative in this case doesn't matter because it is positive. And the K value is negative 5. And that is, uh, looks like a 6, so we'll fix that. Good job, Mr. Shaw. Um, what effect does the A value have on the graph here? It would be vertically stretched because it's greater than one. Okay, and the K value moves it down five. So explain how you would graph this. Um, what we would look at here is we would move the whole graph down five. And then we'd graph it as though we were going over 1, up 2, over 2, up 8. Okay, what I'm going to explain is an over and up chart. Okay, so normally we would go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, and over 3, up 9. And we're always starting from the 0, 0 spot. Okay, in this new graph... What we're actually doing, let's change it to, um, I don't know, red. So in this new graph, what our over and up chart looks like is we're going over one, two, and three. That hasn't changed, but we're going up two, up four, and up 18. We've moved, we've multiplied all of our values by the A. And what we're actually doing is we're starting that over and up down five from the vertex. So we start down five and then use our new over and up chart. And our over and up chart is always 1, 2, 3. And then we multiply all of these values by whatever our A value is. Okay. The next page, determine a or use a graph to determine the equation. Okay, so when we're looking at this, the first thing that I always want to do is find out where we're starting. We're starting up 3. Up three is going to be your k value. So k equals three. Now, normally, our over and up chart, so our over and up chart is going to tell us an, our a value. Normally, we would go over one, up one. But here, we've gone over one and down two. So, our new chart is over, up, we've gone over one and down two. All we have to do to find out what our A value is, is take our new up value and divide it by our old up value. Okay, so we're gonna have here, what color are we blue? Um, I don't even know. So we've got negative two, divided by one, which is just negative two. So therefore our equation here, y equals negative two x squared plus three. Okay, now again, we started up three. That's how we got our k value. Normally we would go, from this point, we would go over one and up one. But what we did was we went over one and down two. So our a value is negative 2 divided by 1. And then we get negative 2. All right. Verify the relation here is a quadratic. Determine the equation of this one. This is pretty tough. But if we slow it down and just look at it carefully, we can figure it out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change my chart to be vertical. So we've got negative 4, negative 2, 0, 
2 and 4. Now we've got 0, negative 6, negative 8, negative 6, and 0. All right, so first, to verify that this is a quadratic, we're going to have negative 6, or 0 minus negative 6 is 6. Negative 6 minus that is 2. It's negative 2. And negative 6. Okay, I subtracted up. Okay, those aren't equal. So we're going to go again. 6 minus 2 is 4. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. And 4. So therefore, this is a quadratic. Okay, because our second differences are equal. So we've done the first part. We've verified that this is a quadratic. Now we need to determine the equation. So we know that a quadratic is symmetrical. So when we're looking at that, we need to find the middle. And if I look at this, the middle is actually the middle point. Because on this side, we've gone to negative 6. And on this side, we've gone to negative 6. So what we've done is we've started down 8. So that tells me our k value is negative 8. Now we need to find our a value. So if we look at our chart, we've gone over 2. We haven't gone over 1. So over and up, we've gone over 2 because we've gone from 0 to 2. We should have gone up 4. Okay, we're not going to look at this one. But our new over and up chart, we should go over 1, up 1. We don't know what that is, but we've gone over 2, and we've gone up 2. We've gone from negative 8 up to negative 6. So to find out our a value, all we have to do is our new up divided by our old up. 2 divided by 4. This gives us 0 0.5. So then our equation, and it's opening up because negative 6 is bigger than negative 8. Our new equation, or our equation for this, is 0.5x squared.